Uh, my name is Paulo and uh, I'm from Brazil, but I currently live in New Zealand. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and you, where, where are you from? I'm from, yeah, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, sorry, I didn't read uh, anything. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, cool. So, um, right. Where in Brazil are you from? Uh, I'm from Sao Paulo. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, do you know Sao Paulo? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sao Paulo is kind of uh, Brazilian New York, you know, uh, the biggest yeah. city, a little bit crowded, uh, like a commercial, commercial, I don't know, business capital maybe <laughs> of Brazil, I don't know, it's really busy. Uh, ah, I do like uh, big cities, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, uh when did you move to New Zealand? Uh, almost four months ago. It was in November, uh, and I'm, I will be here for more one month because I have been doing a exchange program. I I'm here to study English, okay. and my course is finishing. You know, you finish next next week, right. and uh, after that, I don't know if I will come back to Brazil or I will extend my visa because here is amazing, really. I, I live in a city here called Auckland. Yes, it's kind I know, of the capital. Big, the big, <laughs> big capital here, and it's amazing here. I don't know if you have been here, but it's awesome. Man. <laughs> I, I, I love here, you know, everything. Yeah, yeah go, go on, sorry. No, just that, you know, uh, I don't know. It's my first time abroad, you know, uh, so... Uh, my brother you is amazing you know the whole city is really safe uh the earning that you you can the money that you can earn here you know if the minimal salary is really good so you can like have a good life even if you earn the minimal salary you know so it's so different from brazil that you need to work like one year to buy a, like a, a a cell phone here you just need to uh, work for I don't know maybe one month to buy a good cell phone, good stuffs, good clothes. So yeah, that's I don't true. Know. <laughs> but, yeah, so uh, here. Hmm. Actually, I've heard that that it's so expensive to buy a cell phone in Brazil, but like, mm -hmm. but also the cost of living is a lot lower in Brazil though, like housing and food right like then new zealand because it's so expensive in new zealand right now like for food mm -hmm. but yeah but i get it like they have a high minimum wage as well so uh, yes yes i think brazil of course brazil is you know the cost cost of life as you say is lower but the minimum salary is too low, you know, it's too low. I think with the minimum salary, you just can pay the bills, you know. It's impossible to have a good life, like travel and everything. Here is is highest, the cost of life is really high, you know. But if you earn the minimum salary, work like uh, 40 hours per week, you can live, pay your bills and save a little bit, you know. You can, right. uh, I don't know, even even of the cost of life is higher you can i think you can enjoy more if maybe you know <laughs> that's actually interesting like i wouldn't have thought that because like in canada hmm. um the minimum wage now especially is not enough like the bills of rent and uh utilities and food is getting so high that even making minimum wage you're not you're hardly able to live ah really oh my god yeah because it's like times yeah if you make minimum wage where i live that's like 
thirty thousand Canadian dollars, which is the Canadian dollar is a bit higher than the New Zealand dollar, but um, mm -hmm. it's not very much. Like, you know, if you divide that by, it's only two thousand so, five hundred per month, and that's about how much it like rent now costs like probably at least. 1000 1500 per month to mm -hmm. so like probably it costs like two thousand dollars per month just to live uh other question uh, about uh now you are teaching on cambly right and uh why did you decide to teach on cambly because i love traveling and i want to maybe do this while i'm traveling mm, good yes so yeah yeah so actually i have been to new zealand but i've never been to auckland i've only been to queenstown mm -hmm. yeah i went there in september um yeah so it was september really of yeah like oh, a few months <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. Nice. Nice. Oh, perfect. Queenstown, right? Uh, I need to tell you that maybe, you know, when my visa expires, I will probably uh, get the other visa, like tourist visa, because I want to visit the, the Queenstown. Yeah. You no, know, I, and uh, how is Queenstown? Tell me a little bit about the city. <laughs> because it I want was to go really there. Nice. Actually, it reminded me a lot of this place in Canada that's near my house mm -hmm. uh this place it's called Banff um mm. and it's also like it's so similar to Queenstown it's like a small mountain town that's like very beautiful um yeah it was fun I just went I went for like 10 days there mm -hmm. I went on a ski trip like so I went with my friends from Australia, like, cause I was in university in Australia and I was in a ski club. So it was like 53 of us went on this ski trip. And so it was really fun. Um, we went uh, skiing like at three different hills and then we like partied a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And also did some <laughs> other cool stuff. Like we went did the luge and the gondola and there's a few other cool things to do there. Like, oh, we went canyon boat canyon in it. Canyoning. Mm -hmm. And also I didn't not I don't know if anyone did this, but there is bungee jumping and stuff. Uh -huh, yeah. Definitely very cool. But for for me, it reminded me a lot of like where near where I'm from. So like, I don't know if I'd want to like live there, but mm -hmm. I do think it was very cool. And I definitely would okay. recommend visiting. Uh, awesome. awesome. I, I also want to visit there because they told me like, uh, because of these activities that you just say, you know, uh, it seems like it's nice, you know, the, the, maybe the nature there <laughs> and yeah. uh it's like uh the parties too you know it's, it's nice to go some some parties uh so because i don't want to go in a city that you know you don't have anything to do after 6 p.m you know yeah. i feel i think I, i'll be boring <laughs> no yeah. but i don't know queenstown maybe is good <laughs> yeah um yeah it, it's like a big ski town so everyone there is basically there to go skiing and and then after skiing you go party <laughs> so that's after skiing, go... <laughs> yeah yeah okay awesome and uh when you went there uh did you stay like uh, i don't know in a hotel hostel or a uh, hostel hostel ah good good yeah it was it was fine i don't think it was the best hostel ever because uh 
this is kind of funny, but uh, you weren't allowed to drink alcohol in the hostel. So mm -hmm. it was really annoying. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We got in trouble so many times for doing it. <laughs> but uh, other than uh, that, it's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, here in Auckland, I lived in a hostel for three, maybe two months, maybe. Oh, yeah. Two months and a half. And uh, it's yeah. good. I I, sh I share I share my apartment with ten people, you know. And uh, it was every every day is fun, you know, because they are really friendly. But that's the problem. Sometimes you don't have uh, like a peace, you know. You, sometimes you want to be quiet, you know, in your room, but it's impossible, you know. Every time is and uh, like uh, they make noise. Every time they want to talk, you know. Well, let me tell me this. Uh, it's good, but sometimes I think yeah, is uh, you need your your space, you know. <laughs> oh, for sure, I agree. Like I stayed in hostels for like a month, for mm -hmm. the once, which is the longest I've done, and I love it and it's super fun, but it gets very exhausting. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I remember in, in the hostel uh we always play uno you know the cards uno yes yeah i played every day you know uh, we played like uh i know maybe we started like 10 p.m and finished at like 3 a.m <laughs> everybody like laughing a lot it was, it was super fun That's you know fun. uh i had a lot of good memories <laughs> of this hostel. Okay. This, this is something good That's and uh um, anyway, it was nice meeting you and you 